Hey there, Spark fans. Rob Reynolds here with more good news. We are happy to announce the release of our new SparkFun ESP32 Thing Plus. This sweet upgrade retains all the features that you loved from the original ESP32 Thing, but we've zhuzhed it up with some nice new features. Let's take a closer look. And don't worry, I won't sing the specs this time. We've extended the length of this board a little bit for a couple of reasons. One is so that we could add the Quick Connector to allow you to easily connect your Quick I2C components. The other is so we could move some pins around to make this board compatible with a host of feather footprint shields that already exist. There's also a JST connector for a single cell LiPo battery, micro B connector for programming and charging your LiPo with the onboard charging circuit, the ESP32 with its dual core Xtensa 32-bit LX6 microprocessor, up to 240 MHz clock frequency, 16 MB of flash storage, 520 KB of internal SRAM, an 802.11 BGN Wi-Fi transceiver, dual mode Bluetooth, and 21 GPIO pins, including 8 electrode capacitive touch support. But even with all those inputs and outputs, you don't need to connect anything to this board to get it up and running. As a web server, a secure Wi-Fi client, HTTP client, or simple BLE device, you can start experimenting before even attaching a row of headers. And with its newfound expandability, the SparkFun ESP32 Thing Plus will elevate you from a mere passenger on the Internet of Things to an emperor. Grab yours at SparkFun.com, and happy hacking! We're happy to introduce... What did I say? Well, hey, we're happy to introduce. Look at that. Those are the exact words I wrote down. This board, this upgrade, this something. Huh, wait a minute. ESP32. Did you see my eyes go dead when I just completely forgot? <laughs> Internet of Things to an Emperor. Oh, I forgot to say the product. As a, what? There's that list. That would have been like half an opera if I had sung that.